so we have uh, it's another friday and uh, start of another month today we have a very different uh, personality joining us aditi chauhan who is uh, india women's football player so let her let us get her in to the call uh, adding her in aditi on to the live so we are waiting for aditi chauhan who is uh, india football player uh hi aditi hi, how are you i'm very well how are you hey, great very doing great uh so uh just wanted to get started with you uh it's nice to have you with the fast and up family uh thank, thank you, you so thank much thank you for having me <laughs> so uh for the audience uh, just to put it in right context a lot of people would know that football is the most followed game in the world uh in terms of number of people who play it number of people who follow it uh when you come to in the indian context i believe uh, women's football uh, in the indian football women's football team is probably higher ranked than the indian men's team as of now yes. uh yes. so there's a lot of interesting things happening around uh, women's football and uh, i mean it's absolute pleasure to have aditi who has been a rock uh, a, a, a influential player goalkeeper for the indian team for the last uh, probably 9 10 years is that over 10 uh, 12 years approximately <laughs> so she knows everything uh, right from the journey of starting a career in football to being a top notch football player uh, yeah. so uh, so aditi let's get started uh, yeah. would be interesting to know aditi uh, how football came into your life yeah um well football um, came very late in my life to be honest i was uh, since uh, since uh, since childhood i've always been into sports I enjoyed playing sports whatever it was um so i started with uh, with taekwondo um i've done athletics basketball karate um all kind of uh, um all kind of games that were available that was uh, that was there in the school um so i played most of the spo- uh, sports um and fairly decent in all sports uh, but football came quite late uh, competitive football came quite late obviously as a kid we used to play in the park and uh, with the boys and and all of that um like we used to play cricket which is uh, <laughs> obvious everyone plays cricket in right. the childhood so um, so i played that but uh, competitive football was when i was uh, 14 okay uh, when i played my first uh, under 19 delhi team i played for the delhi team um mm-hmm. and i was probably one of the youngest in the team and uh, i got an opportunity to to i mean i got selected as a third choice goalkeeper for delhi team um mm-hmm. and i didn't expect to be you know to play i was just there with the because it was a team trip and we used to, we were traveling from delhi to pondicherry so for me that yeah. was the fun part and yeah. that was the that was the motivation or that was the interesting part um mm-hmm. never thought i'd get an opportunity but uh, but i don't know what the coach thought and uh, he put me in right. for, in the matches for a few minutes mm-hmm. and uh, the experience that i had the, the the feeling that i had on the pitch was something mm-hmm. that i never experienced in any other sport um mm-hmm. and that probably changed my perspective and how i looked at football uh but the the turning point point in my life for football um uh, uh where i decided to take it up as a profession or or uh, you know just focus on this and um in uh, instead of any other sport was the was when i was 16 and i was called up for the india team camp uh, under 19 camp um mm-hmm. that was the first time that uh, there was open trials conducted uh, for the under 19 team and my name was put from delhi uh, along with uh, i think two three other players Uh, from mm-hmm. delhi um, and i got selected through there's a rigorous 3 months uh, training session pro- training program um a lot of a uh, lot of hard work a lot of uh, lot of things because I was very young i was away from the from my family for so long that was the first time that i was away from the fam from my family a uh, mm-hmm. lot of hard work because we used to play we used to train and do goalkeeping in in keecher keecher banade the it was raining and um we used to slide there dive in the in the mud and the puddles so um, all of that was very different very uh, something i'd never experienced before yeah, right. um finally i made it to the final team and uh, got selected uh, in the under 19 and as the first choice goalkeeper so when i got the first 
like the first time i got my india team jersey was the moment where you know everything changed for me um it's a feeling that cannot be described in words yeah, and that was the moment where i decided to pursue mm-hmm. uh, and focus on only and entirely on football and not any other sport no oh, fantastic i mean i think uh, it's it's uh, it's great to know that uh, that was a journey that you had i read yeah. somewhere that uh, you are also a black belt in karate uh, yes. is that is that true yes yes so um i started off with taekwondo uh, because i come from a military background so we used to get posted around a lot uh, so where so we were earlier posted in uh, um coimbatore where i was doing taekwondo and i got green belt so when we moved to delhi my dad got posted in delhi uh, we moved here and the school that i joined uh, they didn't have taekwondo so i could not sure. continue from uh, the green belt so i to st- they had karate and i had to start from white belt again mm-hmm. so uh, i was very disappointed with that but i thought <laughs> i had to do some sort of martial arts so uh, i did uh, started karate and uh, went on to uh, get the black yeah. belt um yeah. i used to participate in a lot of tournaments also so they have kata and kumite where there is one demonstration and the other one fight when you have these tournaments and uh, matches so mm-hmm. i used to always participate in kumite i loved fighting i loved uh, doing that and uh, i've got a lot of medals also um, in karate <laughs> fantastic so we are also inviting questions from the audience if they want to ask anything uh, on the on the subject uh, but we will take it up as it comes uh aditi we had an interesting uh, discussion uh two days back with uh, because the subject was uh, kids and developing them to future athletes there the right. same point that you were talking about is coming was was talked about exposure to yeah. different sports etc yeah. so do you really feel that uh, uh, your 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 multi sport karate background has helped you in football uh, as, as you are in the top notch absolutely i think that's one of the major reasons where i have developed certain skills so when you play different sports obviously different sports require different skills the way you adapt yourself the way um, you play the different sports so you learn a lot you pick up unintentionally you pick up a lot of things that can be used uh, in 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 whatever sport you decide to take up uh, later so I, i honestly think that because i was involved and i used to play so many sports it's given me certain qualities um, that are very helpful and that that uh, you know stand makes me stand out from the other goalkeepers and gives me an advantage over other uh, players um it could be because i i feel that basketball ke wajah se i have this uh, good hand eye coordination good reaction uh, good because of karate i have good strength in my body uh, mm. and uh, and and similar like you can figure out you can take out different uh, advantages from different sports and i honestly think that it's very important as a kid to be playing different as many sports as you can and then decide right. where you actually what you actually love what you enjoy the most um and what sport what sport you want to take up if you do want oh, to take up uh, later for golden words of wisdom i would say <laughs> uh, coming coming from uh, especially you right uh yeah. so uh, the other thing that i i always look back and uh, think is uh, for a footballer like you uh, a goalkeeping position is probably the least glamorous <laughs> of the i mean i mean don't, don't take yeah. me in the wrong sense but no, no, yeah, uh, right. <laughs> typically it's a lot of hard work yeah. and, uh, uh, and and nobody remembers you for those saves that you did yeah. but it's always yeah. about the goals that you miss so have you ever yeah. felt in your 10 10 year long career if only i had yeah. chosen something else uh, being a striker you would have been a different uh, personality altogether absolutely you always you know when you are uh, i mean we face this uh, every goalkeeper must have, i'm sure everyone's faced uh, this uh, whenever there's a goal conceded it's always blamed on the goalkeeper um, mm-hmm. but i think that's one of the reasons why not everyone can play as a goalkeeper it's it's such a difficult position it's mm-hmm. not easy it requires a lot of physical and mental toughness um it's not easy to dive at a striker's with the who's coming with the ball with such a high speed and dive in uh, their feet to collect the ball you need a lot of courage a lot of strength uh, to do that not everyone can do that um, and that's one of the reasons why Uh, there are very less goalkeepers and want to play as a goalkeeper because they can't <laughs> it's very simple <laughs> because i've i've also challenged a lot of our uh, players national team players because everyone says ye to bada easy hai aur ye hai 
रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैट कम्स विद दिस पोजिशन and uh, so i i feel that uh, that i am very com- comfortable and i feel that this position is something that whoever is not played as a goalkeeper will never understand uh, what it yeah. takes to be yeah. in that position yeah. Yeah. and the other thing is also that it's very easy and everybody wants to be a striker everybody um, <laughs> wants to score goals uh, yeah. but unless you defend your goal you will not be able to win so um, Exactly. That's so, that's I think each, each position is important in its own way, yeah. right? And you need to play a role. Uh, yeah. So the other thing, but uh, goalkeeper is unique. <laughs> there's only one, 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 one goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're always unique. <laughs> but uh, uh, so uh, the other thing, people are people would be interested to know. Even I personally would be interested to know is the fact that you had your education in uh, in UK, where you did a masters out there. You also yeah. had an exposure to West Ham out there. Yeah. uh and it was probably one of the unique uh, 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 instances at that point of time uh, when people yeah. used to represent a club out there right so yeah. what did you find a few things that was so different there uh, from when you went from india to uh, uh, uk uh, from a, from a playing aspect from a footballing aspect um Kills. i think one of the major differences was obviously the the kind of opportunities the number of opportunities that were available for girls um mm. to play at every level no matter if you're playing or if you want to play at a professional level semi professional amateur level or just as a hobby um mm. you had leagues you had tournaments uh, that go on throughout the year at every level so that mm. was the one of the major differences and that's the re- probably one of the reasons why england uh, women's national team and and England in general is doing so well, um, especially in the last uh, last few years. Um, another difference that I feel is is also about the culture, the the kind of uh, training that is uh, provided, the kind of environment that the club has. Um, mm-hmm. You're very open. You're very free to talk about whatever it is in your mind as a player with the with the coaches. You are open to discuss. They are also very happy to answer those questions. They take it very positively. um so that gives room for players also to grow to improve their knowledge to understand from different perspectives because a lot of times we as players have a different very different perspective to coaches or or uh, someone from the management um so it's important to have that kind of open dialogue open discussion uh, about whatever your opinion whatever your thoughts are um mm-hmm. that really helps uh, a player to grow and okay perfect uh aditi uh, uh, the one of the unique things that you have also been doing is your uh, academy your coaching uh, initiative yeah. called she kicks yeah. right yeah. it's so unique uh, because you don't have many such uh, uh, centers out there uh, initiatives out there which is probably focused on girls getting into football and play getting into yeah. the next level so uh, can you tell tell us speak a little bit about that what what's what's yeah. going on what are the future what oh. is the future plans like right so uh, when i went to uk to do sports management masters in sports management because i always had this i decided that i wanted to have a career in sports even after i stopped playing football uh, but obviously back then i didn't know what kind of role would it be how would i be involved and how, how can i contribute um but when i came back uh, to india um i i was away for 2 3 years and i thought you know things might have changed drastically and uh there would have been uh, a lot more uh, opportunities for girls to train regularly because those were the things that were missing out when i was growing up i never got uh, training you know uh, any i never went to a center where i could train all um all year uh which i do feel that i missed out on if i you know i could have been a lot better if i had got the basics right and the training throughout the year and all that um uh, when i was younger so um so when i came back i thought that you know i saw that not much had changed um, there was not there was still not uh, no centers or no opportunities for girls to train regularly so 
um so and and i just thought you know enough talking about the potential of women's football and and what we can do um it's important for me to you know probably start my something on my own um yeah. a small initiative it could be in a very small scale uh with whatever uh, you know resources i had and then see how and what i can do with it um mm. so that was the whole idea of she kicks uh, to provide this opportunity and offer my knowledge share my knowledge and experience with more and more girls um and get them involved in football because you know from my own experience what i've seen um is that because i've played football and because of the experiences that i have because of football uh it's helped me develop and change my personality drastically i'm a lot more confident i have a different perspective to do different things the exposure that i've got because of football okay. that i've traveled across the world um has all helped me become who i am today so and i want more and more p girls to experience that to have a very strong personality have their own opinions uh, make their own career choices i yeah. mean choice in any way so um and i and i feel that uh, football can do that football can help in uh, exposing that side of uh, uh, a girl's personality so that is the whole so, in, uh, in, uh, intention behind she kicks um our first center is in uh, our, uh, currently we we have one center which is in gurgaon uh, mm-hmm. but hopefully uh, this uh, by next year we'll have more centers across india and uh, we'll have more you know better opportunities better uh, facilities for uh, more and more girls that be good news for all of a uh, lot of <laughs> girls across the country and i think with the uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we can we can thank lockdown <laughs> we can thank lockdown for this because it's given me time to focus a lot more on uh, she kicks work and how we can make this bigger and better uh, i think it's, it's it's a great great news for everyone uh, so that we can bring the best of indian women's football to the girls who are aspiring yeah. to play So we actually had a question from Madhukar a little while back. So he was basically asking uh, uh, if you have to compare uh, uh, Indian girls to, uh, uh, I mean, girls in UK uh, uh, or abroad. Let Let's take three parameters. One is uh, skills, uh, mental toughness, and uh, physical toughness. Uh, how do the, How do Indian girls rate against? uh other asian teams other european teams or you know uh, uh, what what what's right. your take on it so i think physical uh i think skills and skills is something that can be developed that is not uh, you know you're not born with any skill you 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 develop that over time with uh, with more and more experience you develop that and that can that is something that can be worked on um sure. but i think the major difference is, is the mental toughness part and the physical strength uh because of our you know the indian genetics and and all of the all the other reasons we yeah. compared to the and the diet that we have or whatever the reasons are um i think physically that was something that i that was challenging for me also when i the first time i played there the first test, first few sessions that i had um i realized that you know these girls are a lot tougher uh, both mentally and physically uh, yeah. even i remember the first session that i had it was on astro turf and um, these girls would go for sliding tackles in normal training session these just started our sessions okay. um and they would go for sliding tackles they have bruises on their knee and it's you know it's bleeding and all that and they don't bother or they don't care about it and they'll keep going for that and and that was probably one of the times that i felt you know thank god i'm a goalkeeper i don't <laughs> have to face these sliding ty- t- tackles at the session and every uh, uh, every other time so um so that's one of the things that i feel is one of the biggest differences physical yeah. and mental toughness i've noticed uh, even when i was younger uh, when i was growing up um, uh, you know we lot of the times we used to get intimidated uh, by physical physicality of other players um, and these you know big country names and uh, whatever their their looks or their physical fitness or whatever the they, you know the way they're doing their warm up or how they conducting themselves um all of that becomes uh, you know used to become very intimidating and we used to lo- mentally lose that battle before we even step on step on the field so um so though that is something that really needs to be worked on and i think that can that is something that comes with experience how uh, and that can be helped through obviously we have uh, sports physio uh, sports yeah. uh, the 
psychologists also who help uh, who help the teams now because it's become more and more professional um right. so there are professional help, there are professionals who are there with the teams and international level to help the players cope up with that sort of mental pressure and uh, mental uh, toughness right so the skills can be learned mental and physical toughness you can uh, change yeah. it a little bit by working on it as you are young yeah. uh, one one is young yeah. so that's, that's a great uh, take away for all of us uh are the uh, the uh, other thing that i want to talk a little bit about is the structure in india for women's football i know you guys had a fantastic year with gokulam fc winning the women's league this time a uh, lot of us don't even know there is a women's league uh, mm-hmm. in india i mean people are so, so I mean, aware mostly of the isl so can you talk a little right. bit about the structure that you have in india for any aspiring football right. player and what is the league status right now um so uh, the structure that we have currently is is basically that every state has its league uh that uh, the state association is responsible to conduct um and i think it's mandatory it's been made mandatory by the aff uh, in i think one or two years it's been made mandatory um and uh, so there are different obviously small clubs that participate in these state level leagues um and and the structure of the league is very is dependent on the state association how they want to structure it how they want to make it um from that uh, the from every state you have one club that you know that tops the league that tops the tournament um and that uh, qualify to play in the in the iwl the final round of the iwl uh, mm-hmm. so that structure for the iwl where uh, and the other i league or i w uh, isl clubs uh, that form a women's ta- women's uh, team like gokulam um uh they have a direct entry to the final round of uh, the IWL mm-hmm. uh, and that's one of the platforms where uh, the national team coaches the scouts come and spot players select players to be in the national team and call them up for the national team trials um the other platform for selection or for scouting is the nationals uh, yeah. again so you have open trials at least in delhi we have open trials um for uh, for footballers um from across the uh, across the state where they come and give trials uh, it's a one week probably uh, one week or two week long selection trial process um by the end of which you get you make it to the final team and play in the uh, in the national so different age groups have yeah. national um mm-hmm. and from the national from the uh, from these uh, from the nationals you have again you have the national team uh, coaches and scouts to come and select players for the national team uh, right. that's basically the structure right now obviously it's not very um uh, it's not it's not a huge process or a very structured program as such uh, there's a lot more to be done obviously things are improving every exactly. year things are changing because women's football is also developing in india Uh, yeah. more and more attention is being given to women's football so the structure of iwl also keeps changing every year it's very yeah. different it was very different this year compared to the first year or first edition of the iwl um mm-hmm. so i'm sure in the coming years also it's going to grow and become better hopefully uh, our achievement with gokulam will uh, motivate and get more isl or isl or i league clubs to make a women's team and have we'll have more teams in the iwl next time yeah. um, and uh, Yeah. yeah. No, no. I just wanted to butt in and say that uh, Pasand up is uh, happy to be associated with both Gokulam and uh, Aditi Chauhan. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, one uh, common common area where uh, we are all, and it's yeah. great to have you encourage more uh, women footballers and through Pasand up motivate get more girls, um, encourage more girls to play football uh, through your initiatives through you know with with Pasand up. Uh, I'm glad. to be working with you uh, for i'm very thankful with to you for offering her to help with she kicks also and with my initiative uh, to get more girls to play football fair enough uh aditi uh, i see you in the last uh, 14 20 30 days one month uh, doing a lot of sessions with yash and deepali i mean for people yeah. who don't know uh, they are one of the top physios around in the country uh, yeah. uh, i know a lot of footballers vouch uh, by them what are you right. actually trying to improve i mean what what are you working on I mean, because there's so many range of exercises that you're right. trying to do so what is your yeah. thrust during this lockdown period 
so uh, in why i came to bangalore after the iwl was that uh, i had been struggling with a bad ankle for a few months uh, so i wanted to basically do my rehab um because initially i had planned to come only for 2 3 weeks uh, yeah. and my focus was at that moment was rehab and a little bit of snc work um but uh, and that obviously we we were working on and we are trying to get that better uh, but apart from that because obviously it's <laughs> extended way beyond what i'd imagine um the overall focus is obviously the strength uh, i want to get better Uh, in every aspect strength is something that is a continuous process and you keep working on that uh, but along with that we also work a lot more on um, you know coordination drills uh, reaction drills yeah. uh, stability um, uh, uh, and those are those are the things that you know with with assessment of by, done by uh, done at peak performance yeah. by uh, yash and uh, dipali um, they have made the schedule they have made the plan and i just trust them yeah. and i follow their uh, guidelines and their um, program uh, as yeah. much as i can. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. so a couple of more questions uh, questions we are getting into the last session uh, last uh, part of the interaction uh, yeah. for any uh, young girl who is seeing you uh, who right. aspires to take up football what are one or two things that they should do i mean write down in a lockdown if you have a football at home Right. Is there any 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 small things that they can start doing, dribble around, or right. uh, you know, uh, drills that they can do do right now uh, during lockdown? Um, I think uh, you know this is the best uh, time to actually master some of the basic drills. Okay. Uh, there are certain techniques, certain drills that uh, that can be and that needs to be done every day regularly. Um, Uh, the basic ball control dribbling passing receiving these are basic things that are very very important uh, in any uh, you know when you when at what at whatever level you are playing and that's how you get better that that's what defines a professional to an amateur mm-hmm. so um use this uh, i my only suggestion would be to get better at whatever you're doing uh do it every day because don't give up hard work is there's no substitute to hard work Mm-hmm. um when it's lockdown or not uh, just keep doing what you're doing and uh, uh, don't get demotivated by anything uh, there's always a time and uh, phase of everything um yeah. is our only you know things that are in our control is what you should focus on um there's no point of worrying or thinking of things that are beyond our control just do your work keep uh, getting better um make yourself worthy of being in the national team uh be be so good that um, that the national team scouts and the coaches can't miss you whenever you get uh, get to play in front of them so uh you need to make yourself stand out uh you know be a good team player work on your basics um and stand out uh, whenever you get the opportunity so oh, great uh so uh, uh... one one more question that i had was uh, you had a long career with indian football uh, was yeah. there any stand memorable moment that you had winning a title or couple of titles or a match that yeah. you remember what was that yeah. about um i think for me uh, obviously every time i step on the field to play for the national team is very very special uh, but one uh, one moment or one uh, match that i remember recently we played uh, Uh, saf championship in nepal uh, which was so before there's a background to that so before that uh, nepal had come to india to play a, a four nation tournament in uh, bhubaneswar and uh, and we didn't have a good uh, good tournament uh, india and me personally also i didn't have a great tournament um and we lost against nepal that was probably the first time that we lost uh, in front of our home crowd so that was really bad for us that was like the worst uh, time for us um so when we when when we went to nepal for in front of their home crowd and the nepal crowd is crazy about football it's it's really mad so um when we went there to play the finals against them in front of their home crowd we were all very emotional because uh because we also we were a very young team um, uh the average age was 21 no one really had you know a lot of the players didn't have an experience of playing under that kind of pressure and in yeah, that kind yeah. of uh, uh, audience 
and uh, we didn't have a lot of fun the senior team players like i said the very young team um and uh, for us it was very important to prove to our supporters to prove to people to aff uh, to people who were, who expected a lot out of us even during the the tournament that india hosted uh and for us also because we knew we were better than and uh, better than them and we didn't do our best to on that particular day to uh, to get that win so it was very very important we had a very emotional um uh, pre match talk also uh with with the team management and all the players so it was you know we were both very emotional high on adrenaline uh yeah. we had a point to prove we had um, lot of expectations from india we had to point to prove to the crowds also because they were really booing us um <laughs> and and to the nepal team also because we have this uh, rivalry against them um <laughs> so so that when we won that uh, 3-1 and it was a very dramatic tournament uh, match uh, yeah. where we we scored the first goal then uh, we were 2-1 it was 2-1 at one point and uh, a lot of players were in doubt or didn't believe that we could win so um, but i honestly from i from my bottom of my heart i believe that we can win this we will win this today uh, mm-hmm. and i tried to encourage uh, the other players try to get them motivated get get to uh, get them on the same level and the same belief that i was in um and and we ended up winning 3-1 so that was amazing that was uh, one of the best moments that yeah, uh, yeah. will always be remembered uh, and cherished um and that was recent and obviously yeah. after that also we had the south asian games where again we defeated nepal so uh, that was a cherry on top <laughs> that was great i think a lot of people back home in india also was were, were pretty uh, excited to see that result yeah. uh, from all of you so <laughs> congratulations on that So before Thank we uh, go on to the rapid fire questions, I just have a question from uh, Madhya Pradesh, young uh, girl who wants to ask you: Is there a trial to get into your academy? Uh, 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 so or any? I mean, if that is not so, what right. advice would you give it to uh, this girl so from we, Hindi? So right now, uh, she kicks is not a residential center. You can answer. You can probably answer in Hindi if you want. तो हमारी जो शी किक्स अकेडमी है वो अभी रेजिडेंशियल अकेडमी नहीं है तो उसमें फिलहाल रहने का और पढ़ाई का वो सब का अरेंजमेंट नहीं है फिलहाल बट होपफुली नेक्स्ट ईयर तक वी वी ट्राइंग टू गेट एवरीथिंग सॉर्टेड वी आर ट्राइंग टू टाई अप विद द राइट पीपल सही अपॉर्चुनिटीज को हम प्रोवाइड करना चाहते हैं फॉर मी मेरा मेरा माई ओनली मोटिव एंड इंटेंशन is to provide the best um to to more and more youngsters who are really passionate and interested to play football uh to us koshish mein hum log lage hue hain and uh, aap agar hamare shikiks ke uh, pages uh, social media pe follow karte rahoge to jaise jaise update hota rahega uh, as soon as we have something like an open trials ya residential setup to aap usko follow karke aap join kar sakte ho um Apart from that, अगर तब तक के लिए I feel that uh, it's important कोई भी academy whether it's boys girls uh, या online sessions कुछ भी करके you have to uh, make sure that you're training regularly uh, you're improving every day you're trying to improve every day that should be your motive as like your intention right now uh, and get better every day just just try and learn whatever you can क्योंकि अब तो इंटरनेट पर सब कुछ ही अवेलेबल है हर चीज अवेलेबल है हम लोग अपने शिक्षक के अकाउंट से भी कुछ कुछ अब रेगुलरली ड्रिल्स डालेंगे जो आप घर पे कर सकते हो रेगुलरली बेसिक टेक्निक्स बेसिक टेक्निकल स्किल्स जो आप सीख सकते हो सो होपफुली दैट बी हेल्पफुल एंड एंड यू कैन यू नो जस्ट फॉलो द अकाउंट्स टू बी अपडेटेड वट एवर अनाउंसमेंट कम थैंक फॉर दैट आंसर for the game did uh who is the player you admire the most uh so any player right uh, not from football any player you can name yeah, one so football Rafael player and one that for Rafael Nadal generally someone football. who I've always admired uh and I love him I love his uh, the way he carries himself his mentality his everything about him um I think I and I I try to learn a lot from watching him football uh, in football uh noyer noyer has been my idol uh, since okay. i started uh, goalkeeper yeah. right yeah goalkeeper uh, 
the toughest team that you have played against uh we've played against lot of uh, big teams uh, but recently we played against romania i think that was one of the toughest teams um mm-hmm. where we were just you know we were just so stuck stuck by the quality that the team had uh, mm-hmm. about and on the ball and off the ball um but obviously we've played again very tough teams south korea china uh, thailand they're all they've all played in the world cup um yeah. but that was very early in my career and i was very young at that point and romania was a recent uh, tour- a match that we played um so i, I think that is one uh, yeah. team that was very tough do you have any favorite movies any favorite movie that you have uh Rang de Basanti is is one of my favorite favorite movies. Uh, any uh, Netflix series that you are currently watching which you like? Uh, I was watching this uh, Last Dance. Last Dance is something uh-huh. that I'm watching right now. Yeah, looking forward to the next episodes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a movie role that you would like to play? <laughs> uh, I think we need to make a movie on women's football, and I'd love to play the lead. <laughs> I was, I was, I was just thinking there should be a movie made on Aditi Chauhan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And I could favorite. be, I could act on you it. Play yourself. <laughs> yeah. Favorite food? Uh, food. Um, yeah. Favorite cheat meal is pizza. Um, nice. I love some pizza <laughs> on a on a cheat day. Uh, oh. But. A, the chicken uh, chicken is is one okay. of my favorite a, a super power that you would like to have or get uh i don't know um just be invis- invisible maybe uh okay. sometimes so you want to be just go uh, away from everything <laughs> uh favorite <laughs> holiday destination um it's not like i have holidayed a lot but i want to and definitely you know i've been to new zealand once and i love okay. that place i i've always said this that i want to go there again and uh, spend some more time there it's just so beautiful uh hariti we have just come to the end of the session i only have one comment to make uh two um, two things that i want to request you i saw that uh, you have one of your dearest colleagues football player asha lata was uh, probably yes. on the thing yeah. i'm sure you have a great team around uh, are you still interacting with the team do you want to tell something about the team per se that the team that you have now for india uh, about what exactly i mean about the team that you have currently how good is the team because you have people from across the country east right. northeast uh, kerala yeah. i mean maybe south you have right. north uh, so yeah yeah so i think uh, things have changed really uh, drastically i think in the past few years earlier it was only dominated by northeast and by manipur players but now i think yeah. there's a lot more even uh, you know lot more players from other states as well which is always good uh, but i think uh, one of the p- positive sides um, of this team right now that we have is that it's so young it's so hungry to prove themselves uh, to learn to improve that makes this team so special and uh, that's probably one of the reasons why we're doing so well in the international level um because every once uh, i think every single player has become a lot more mature lot better in understanding the game and the un- understanding the responsibility we carry as national team players yeah. um so that's uh, that's one of the changes that i've seen over the years um mm-hmm. and that's something that will take us a long way because we're setting good examples for the youngsters we are setting the right platforms um and uh, so giving them a good direction to to follow thank you for uh, aditi i mean you have had a wonderful chat i know you have had a thank longer you. day with your q and a session which happened before that yeah. uh, all the best for your uh, sessions in the future this month thank you and thank also you, uh, getting back to the field under the post yeah. soon thank you so much <laughs> yeah i'm the- looking forward to that <laughs> thank you so okay. much thanks all the thank audience you. the viewers for listening yeah, to us thank you everyone for so tuning much. in uh yeah. hope I've, we've answered a lot of questions and hope you enjoyed the session thank you bye 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 bye